Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to change your password in Windows 10 and recover it if need be. First and foremost, there's a few different ways to get to it. They're all about the same. One of the fastest ways that does not work for everybody, which is why we're showing you all three, is Control-Alt-Delete. And if you have change a password, you can click that and you're off to the races and you can do it all right here. So if you don't have that, that's the fast and easy way. Another way I like to do it, I love the Windows S key for search. If you start typing stuff in like password, say passwords, there's your sign in options. Let's take a look. And this is where we want to be under sign in options. Change your password. And last but certainly not least is good old start settings, accounts, sign in options. As you can see, they're all the same thing. So let's change our password. You're going to need to know your current password. And now we can go into new password. And let's come up with something really good. So nobody will ever figure out. I shouldn't give it away, but I'm going to do it. So once you do it the second time, it will correct you if you're wrong. You can always press this little thing and hold it down to see it or click for quick. Click, click, click. You need a password hint. You know. Pretty sure I don't need a password hint for that one. Hit finish. Now we're done, so let's lock it and show you. We know that it's pat we know that it's um a simple password to remember. Let's lock it, come back in, type in password. And when in doubt, if you get an error, you want to make sure you're typing it right. We do that. Now, another neat thing a lot of people don't do while we're here is a pin. I like the pin because it allows you to create a pretty strong password, but quickly log in. So as long as you have your password, you can create a pin. So do, 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 do. Just pick something simple, click OK. Now you've got a quick, quick way to get in there. So let's show you how that works. Let's uh, lock her down. So now you just put in your pin and you don't have to enter anything. You just go nine, you know, whatever it is, put it in, you're done. Almost gave away my pin. Not that it matters, it's VMware. So you change your mind. You don't want to use your pin anymore. That's it. Just click remove, remove, and you are, once you have your password, of course, you have a simple way to log in. It's a little faster. That's just one way to do it. So there you go. That's uh, everything you need. Not a bad idea to look around now. Maybe add a picture, check your security settings, so on and so forth. But that covers the basics for you. But what if you don't have your password? Take note of this address, HTTPS forward slash. You can skip that and just type in this as well. Account dot live dot com forward slash password forward slash reset. And once you get there, you just type in your info and click next. And then they're going to need to verify your identity. If you don't have these, you're going to have to go through some extra steps. But if your email is working, if you can just have them send you a security code, and that will allow you to unlock your account and reset your password. Obviously, you're going to need to do it on a phone or another computer, but hey, what are you going to do? So that's it. Just load that up in your web browser and you're off to the races. So there you go. There's how to change your password, set up a pin, and hopefully recover your password. As always, click the subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time, I hope.